A health alert tonight. The Mirena IUD is uh, quickly becoming a popular form of birth control. Some women say they like it because you don't run the same risks as taking an oral contraception. But not everybody has a great experience, like Sarah, a Valley mom who had the procedure and she experienced painful and dangerous complications. ABC 15 morning anchor Connie Cola uh, worked with the ABC 15 investigators to look into this birth control and the potential health risks. The marina is an intrauterine device. And then it started getting severe pain. It gets inserted into the uterus. It was horrible. Once we feel that we're at the top of the uterus, we then open the device and then pull back and release, and then this stays in. They told me that it needed to be removed as soon as possible. There's strings that are attached to it. And I would never recommend it to anyone. When it comes time to remove it, we pull down the strings and pull it out. It turned out to be a nightmare. Sarah's Marina IUD perforated her uterus and floated into her abdomen, just like in this x-ray of another woman. Doctors perform surgery to remove it. Sarah is one of thousands who say they've had complications with this birth control. The ABC 15 investigators obtained complaint records from the Food and Drug Administration, and they show almost 60,000 complaints since 2004. A wide range of issues, including acne, migraines, and back pain. But one of the most common complaints was listed under expulsion, where there were more than 12,000 reports of the IUD coming out. Abdominal pain is also common, with 3,774 complaints. And uterine perforation, which is what happened to Sarah, with 1,322. This is an x-ray of a woman whose IUD perforated her uterus. It's supposed to be right down here, but instead, it's traveled all the way up here to her hip area. Anytime you do a medical procedure, there is always that risk of chance of complications. Dr. Angela DeRosa is board certified in internal medicine, and she focuses on women's health. When bad things happen, we always hear about it. Most of those were not serious complaints, but there's two million women out there who are running around with IUDs and that have had no problems. It's amazing, so convenient. Ellie Thompson of Peoria is one of those women. It makes everything so much lighter if you have a a bad period and you don't have to worry about taking a pill every day and it lasts for five years so you can't beat that. There are currently dozens of cases filed in federal court. Five of them were filed by attorneys Don Shimaluski and John Klimako. But they're looking at hundreds more. We have 900 cases in house. I think that there's enough evidence that there is pretty serious complications involved with this device. Many law firms are searching for clients, including here in Arizona. What these people aren't being told is that at any time after this device is in place, it can perforate the uterus and cause these complications. Bayer, the maker of the marina, won't comment on specific lawsuits. There's nothing in the warning that gives these individuals any idea that once they walk out of their doctor's office with this device in place, that they need to be cognizant of this risk. In their statement, they say they take, quote, the safety of our products very seriously. For that reason, we continuously review the safety profile of all our products worldwide. The FDA tells us no drug is absolutely safe. FDA-approved drugs show their benefits outweigh their known risks. According to DeRosa, one of those benefits includes protecting against uterine cancer during hormone replacement therapy. It also eases common menstrual symptoms and eliminates periods in a majority of patients. Sarah continues to have pain on her left side. She says the doctors told her she has nerve damage that will never go away. I just don't want it to happen to, to other women. I mean, you think you're doing something to help yourself and your family, and then it just ends up turning into a disaster. A couple of years after that ordeal, Sarah added a baby boy to her family. You can read the complaints to the FDA in greater detail on our website. Just go to abc15.com forward slash investigators.